The meeting of two personalities is like the contact of two chemical substances. If there is any reaction, both are transformed. Carl Jung A back phase of your life can start at any time. Most of the time you have to swallow the pain and learn to grow up by yourself. Ultimate excellence lies not in winning every battle, but in defeating the enemy without ever fighting. One who is unaffected by the pain and pleasure that arise from contact with the senses, and who is steady in both, is said to be one who has attained self-realization. Bhagavad Gita Failure is not proof, it is information. Sometimes you have to go through the mud to get to the good stuff. David Goggins Either fate, and that either an absolute necessity and unavoidable decree, or a placeable and flexible providence, or all is a mere casual confusion, void of all order and government. If an absolute and unavoidable necessity, why doest thou resist? If a placeable and exorable providence, make thyself worthy of the divine help and assistance. If all be a mere confusion without any moderator or governor, then hast thou reason to congratulate thyself, that in such a general flood of confusion thou thyself hast obtained a reasonable faculty, whereby thou mayest govern thine own life and actions. But if thou beest carried away with the flood, it must be thy body perchance, or thy life, or some other thing that belongs unto them that is carried away. Thy mind and understanding cannot. Or should it be so that the light of a candle indeed is still bright and lightsome until it be put out, and should truth and righteousness and temperance cease to shine in thee, whilst thou thyself hast any being? To avoid disappointment, expect nothing from nobody. You can always rise above those who offend you by forgiving them. Wisdom tends to grow in proportion to one's awareness of their ignorance. Anthony DeMello Mistakes are proof that you're trying. Experience is the best teacher. Your past does not equal your future. Tony Robbins What manner of men they be whom they seek to please, and what to get? and by what actions, how soon time will cover and bury all things, and how many it hath already buried. How many things would you attempt if you knew you could not fail? The way is near, but men seek it too far. It is in easy things, but men seek for it in difficult things. Everything lasts for a day, the one who remembers and the remembered. Marcus Aurelius What the ancients called a clever fighter is one who not only wins, but excels in winning with ease. Doubt can only be removed by action. Attachment to views is the greatest impediment to the spiritual path. Thich Nhat Hanh. They kill me, they cut my flesh, they persecute my person with curses. What then? 
May not thy mind for all this continue pure, prudent, temperate, just, as a fountain of sweet and clear water, though she be cursed by some stander by, yet do her springs nevertheless still run as sweet and clear as before. Yea, though either dirt or dung be thrown in, yet is it no sooner thrown than dispersed, and she cleared. She cannot be dyed or infected by it. What then must I do, that I may have within myself an overflowing fountain and not a well? Beget thyself by continual pains and endeavors to true liberty with charity and true simplicity and modesty. You will never be truly happy if you constantly seek validation from others. Celebrate small victories and milestones because they pave the way for bigger achievements. It is not things themselves that trouble us, but our judgments about those things. Epictetus This quote emphasizes Stoicism's focus on controlling our internal reactions and perceptions to external events. Someone once told me the meaning of hell. On your last day on earth, the person you became will meet the person you could have become. When you can't go back, you have to worry only about the best way of moving forward. If you knew who walked beside you at all times, on the path that you have chosen, you could never experience fear or doubt again. Wayne Dyer In the whole constitution of man, I see not any virtue contrary to justice, whereby it may be resisted and opposed, but one whereby pleasure and voluptuousness may be resisted and opposed. I see continence. We cry over people, but what about time? Time is also never going to come back. Time is everything, and one day it will define you. If you do not conquer self, you will be conquered by yourself. From this instant on, vow to stop disappointing yourself. Separate yourself from the mob. Decide to be extraordinary and do what you need to do now. Epictetus Fortune accompanies the brave. The most important step a man can take is the next one. It's always the next one. The challenges we face in life are there to strengthen our convictions. They are not there to run us over. Nick Vujicic Do not be troubled by thoughts such as these. I will be valued by no one my whole life long, a nobody everywhere. For if lacking value is something bad, which it is, you cannot be involved in anything bad through other people, any more than you can be involved in anything disgraceful. Is it any business of yours, then, to acquire status, or to be invited to a banquet? Certainly not. How then can this be regarded as lacking value? And how will you be a nobody everywhere, when all you have to be is a somebody concerning those things that are in your power? with respect to which you can be someone of the greatest value. Two, but my friends, you say, will lack support. What do you mean, lack support? Certainly they won't get much cash from you, neither will you make them Roman citizens. Who told you then that these things are amongst those that are in our power, and not the business of other people? And who can give to others things they do not have themselves? 3. Get some money then, someone says, 
so that we can have some too. If I can get it whilst also preserving my self-respect, my trustworthiness, my magnanimity, show me how, and I will get it. But if you ask me to forsake those things that are good, and my own, in order that you may acquire those things that are not good, see for yourself how unfair and thoughtless you are. Besides, what would you rather have, money, or a friend who is trustworthy and has self-respect? Therefore help me towards this end, and do not ask me to do anything by which I will lose those very qualities. 4. But my country, you say, as far as it depends on me, will be without my help. The Handbook of Epictetus 7, Revised, 2003, 10-10 I ask again, what help do you mean? It will not have colonnades and bathhouses on your account. But what does that mean? For neither is it provided with shoes by a smith, nor weapons by a shoemaker. It is enough if everyone properly attends to their own business. But if you were to provide it with another trustworthy citizen who has self-respect, would that not be of use to your country? Yes. Well then, you also cannot be useless to it. 5. What place then, you ask, will I have in the community? That which you may have whilst also preserving your trustworthiness and self-respect. But if by wishing to be useful, you throw away these qualities, of what use can you be to your community if you become shameless and untrustworthy? People will often take advantage of your kindness if you let them. The only person with whom you have to compare yourself is you in the past. The American, by nature, is optimistic. He is experimental, an inventor, and a builder who builds best when called upon to build greatly. John F. Kennedy You came into this huge world alone and will go out of it alone. Hence, you can make any impossible thing possible by yourself. Doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Jim Rohn Of the free will there is no thief or robber out of Epictetus. Whose is this also, that we should find a certain art and method of assenting, and that we should always observe with great care and heed the inclinations of our minds, that they may always be with their due restraint and reservation, always charitable, and according to the true worth of every present object. And as for earnest longing, that we should altogether avoid it, and to use averseness in those things only that wholly depend of our own wills. It is not about ordinary petty matters, believe it, that all our strife and contention is, but whether with the vulgar we should be mad, or by the help of philosophy wise and sober, said he. Cantutrine. Socrates said, What will you have? The souls of reasonable or unreasonable creatures? Of reasonable. But what? Of those whose reason is sound and perfect? Or of those whose reason is vitiated and corrupted? Of those whose reason is sound and perfect? Why then labor ye not for such? Because we have them already. What then do ye so strive and contend between you? Focus on your growth, values, and cultivating kindness. The right person will find their way to you at the perfect moment, without the need for chasing. Care about what other people think, and you will always be their prisoner. Omnia mea mecum porto, all that is mine I carry with me, bias of Priena.
If you would know the value of money, go and try to borrow some. Be forgiving, be understanding, but do not be a fool. Only the present moment contains life. Thich Nhat Hanh. In every undertaking, consider what comes first and what comes after. Then proceed to the action itself. Otherwise, you will begin with a rush of enthusiasm, having failed to think through the consequences, only to find that later, when difficulties appear, you will give up in disgrace. 2. Do you want to win at the Olympic Games? So do I, by the gods. For that is a fine achievement. But consider what comes first and what comes after, and only then begin the task. You must be well disciplined, submit to a diet, abstain from sweet things, follow a training schedule at the set times, in the heat, in the cold, no longer having cold drinks or wine just when you like. In a word, you must hand yourself over to your trainer, just as you would to a doctor. And then, when the contest comes, you may strain your wrist, twist your ankle, swallow lots of sand, sometimes be whipped, and after all that, suffer defeat. 3. Think about all this, and if you still want to, then train for the games, otherwise you will behave like children, who first play at being wrestlers, then at being gladiators, then they blow trumpets, then act in a play. In the same way, you will first be an athlete, then a gladiator, then an orator, then a philosopher. But you will do none of these things wholeheartedly. But like a monkey, you will mimic whatever you see, as first one thing, then another, takes your fancy. All this because you do not undertake anything after properly considering it from all sides, but randomly and half-heartedly. 4. So it is when some people go to see a philosopher and hear someone speak such as Euphrates, and who can speak like him? They too want to be philosophers. 5. But first consider what sort of undertaking this is, then examine your own capacities to see if you can bear it. So you want to be a pentathlete or a wrestler? Look at your arms, your thighs, examine your back. Different people are naturally suited to different tasks. 6. Do you think that if you do these things you can still eat in the same way, drink in the same way, give way to anger and irritation, just as you do now? You must go without sleep, endure hardship, live away from home, be looked down on by a slave boy, be laughed at by those whom you meet, and in everything get the worst of it, in honors, in status, in the law courts, and in every little affair. 7. Consider carefully whether you are willing to pay such a price for peace of mind, freedom and serenity, for if you are not, do not approach philosophy and do not behave like children, being first a philosopher, next a tax collector, then an orator, and later a procurator of the emperor. These things are not compatible. You must be one person either good or bad. You must cultivate either your ruling principle or external things. Seek to improve things inside or things outside. That is, you must play the role either of a philosopher or an uneducated person. Remember five years ago you dreamed about being where you are now. Think about it. Learn to be content in being happy by yourself. If you need company to be happy, then it will make you weak. When a person can't find a deep sense of meaning, they distract themselves with pleasure. Viktor Frankl To find out a girl's faults, praise her to her girlfriends. Do not give in too much to feelings. 
An overly sensitive heart is an unhappy possession on this shaky earth. The greatest gift you can give somebody is your own personal development. I used to say, if you will take care of me, I will take care of you. Now I say, I will take care of me for you, if you will take care of you for me. Jim Rohn Just as in walking about you take care not to step on a nail or twist your ankle, so also you should take care not to harm your ruling principle. If we guard against this in every action, we will engage in affairs with greater security. Three may keep a secret if two of them are dead. Life is like an elevator on your way up. Sometimes you have to stop and let some people off. Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. Seneca Life is a journey, not a destination. Don't be scared because you don't have all the answers right away. You will learn through your experiences and find your own way to happiness. To live in the present moment is a miracle. The miracle is not to walk on water. The miracle is to walk on the green earth in the present moment, to appreciate the peace and beauty that are available now. Tishnat Han. Augustus his court, his wife, his daughter, his nephews, his sons-in-law, his sister, Agrippa, his kinsmen, his domestics, his friends, Arius, Amaldras, Sinas, his slayers of beasts for sacrifice and divination, there thou hast the death of a whole court together. Proceed now unto the rest that have been since that of Augustus. Hath death dwelt with them otherwise, though so many and so stately whilst they lived, than it doth use to deal with any one particular man. Consider now the death of a whole kindred and family, as of that of the Pompeys, as that also that useth to be written upon some monuments, he was the last of his own kindred. O oh, what care did his predecessors take, that they might leave a successor, yet behold at last one or other must of necessity be the last. Here again therefore consider the death of a whole kindred, How much more damage anger and grief do than the things that cause them. It's easy to hate and it's difficult to love. Brave men rejoice in adversity just as brave soldiers triumph in war. Seneca Often a very old man has no other proof of his long life than his age. Givers have to set limits because takers rarely do. What you are seeking is already within you. Muji of finery in dress. A certain young man, a rhetorician, came to see Epictetus, with his hair dressed more carefully than was usual, and his attire in an ornamental style. Whereupon Epictetus said, Tell me you do not think that some dogs are beautiful and some horses, and so of all other animals. I do think so, the youth replied. Are not then some men also beautiful and others ugly? Certainly. Do we then, for the same reason, call each of them in the same kind beautiful, or each beautiful for something peculiar? And you will judge of this matter thus, since we see a dog naturally formed for one thing, and a horse for another, and for another still, 
As an example, a nightingale, we may generally and not improperly declare each of them to be beautiful then when it is most excellent according to its nature. But since the nature of each is different, each of them seems to me to be beautiful in a different way. Is it not so? He admitted that it was. That then which makes a dog beautiful makes a horse ugly. And that which makes a horse beautiful makes a dog ugly. If it is true that their natures are different. It seems to be so. For I think that what makes a Pancratius beautiful makes a wrestler to be not good and a runner to be most ridiculous. And he who is beautiful for the pentathlon is very ugly for wrestling. It is so, said he. What then makes a man beautiful? Is that which in its kind makes both a dog and a horse beautiful? It is, he said. What then makes a dog beautiful? The possession of the excellence of a dog. And what makes a horse beautiful? the possession of the excellence of a horse. What then makes a man beautiful? Is it not the possession of the excellence of a man? And do you then, if you wish to be beautiful, young man, labor at this, the acquisition of human excellence? But what is this? Observe whom you yourself praise when you praise many persons without partiality. Do you praise the just or the unjust? the just, whether do you praise the moderate or the immoderate, the moderate, and the temperate, or the intemperate, the temperate. If, then, you make yourself such a person, you will know that you will make yourself beautiful. But so long as you neglect these things, you must be ugly, even though you contrive all you can to appear beautiful. Further, I do not know what to say to you. For if I say to you what I think, I shall offend you. And you will perhaps leave the school and not return to it. And if I do not say what I think, see how I shall be acting if you come to me to be improved. And I shall not improve you at all. And if you come to me as to a philosopher, and I shall say nothing to you as a philosopher, and how cruel it is to you to leave you uncorrected. If at any time afterward you shall acquire sense, you will with good reason blame me and say, What did Epictetus observe in me that, when he saw me in such a plight coming to him in such a scandalous condition, he neglected me and never said a word? Did he so much despair of me? Was I not young? Was I not able to listen to reason? And how many other young men at this age commit many like errors? I hear that a certain Polmon from being a most dissolute youth underwent such a great change. Well, suppose that he did not think that I should be a Polmon. Yet he might have set my hair right. He might have stripped off my decorations. He might have stopped me from plucking the hair out of my body. But when he saw me dressed like, what shall I say? He kept silent. I do not say like what, but you will say, when you come to your senses and shall know what it is, and what persons use such a dress. If you bring this charge against me hereafter, what defense shall I make? Why, shall I say that the man will not be persuaded by me? Was Laius persuaded by Apollo? Did he and get drunk and show no care for the oracle? Well then, for this reason did Apollo refuse to tell him the truth. I indeed do not know whether you will be persuaded by me or not, but Apollo knew most certainly that Laius would not be persuaded, and yet he spoke. But why did he speak? I say in reply, but why is he Apollo? And why does he deliver oracles? And why has he fixed himself in this place as a prophet and source of truth and for the inhabitants of the world to resort to him. And why are the words, Know Yourself, written in front of the temple, though no person takes any notice of them? Did Socrates persuade all his hearers to take care of themselves? Not the thousandth part. But however, after he had been placed in this position by the deity, as he himself says, he never left it. 
but what does he say even to his judges? If you acquit me on these conditions that I no longer do them,